One of the most haunted places in America can be found in nearby downtown Frederick. The National Museum of Civil War Medicine is home to ghost tours of historic downtown Frederick. I'm Katie Downey reporting for The Echo. The owner of the ghost tours, Ron Engelberger, took some time to speak to us about some chilling thrills that reside there. This is actually our 15th anniversary of the ghost tours or ghost tours of historic Frederick in downtown Frederick. We actually go to seven authentic haunted sites here in the historic district of downtown Frederick. It has grown each and every year. Uh, we get people uh, from all over the U.S. as well as from overseas actually taking our tours. Mostly in the fall we get local people. It's almost like a family tradition. They come back and take us during the Halloween, the fall season. But we've grown each and every year so much so that we've established a new tour Tour, which is actually um, a more of a history tour, Mount Olivet um, Cemetery. So two very unique tours and we encourage everybody, not only from the Frederick region, but also the tri-state area to come and uh, experience Frederick's turbulent past. To consider the National Museum of Civil War Medicine the most haunted site in downtown Frederick. Originally, the, the, the business here before was formed in 1832, and at that point it was called James White Hill Furniture and Undertaking Business. After, after the epic battle of Antietam, between six and 8,000 wounded troops were brought to the city of Frederick to its many temporary hospitals. Well, for many of these soldiers, it took many months of pain and suffering to succumb to the wounds. And this was an embalming site or an embalming station, one of the very first in the nation that provided embalming services. Because of that and because of the family that used to live here, we consider this the most haunted site in downtown Frederick. There, there are a number of, of spirits, uh, actually dozens of spirits that actually inhabit the museum um, currently today. Obviously a lot of them were tied in with the Civil War, the soldiers that had um, suffered and perished. Frederick is a perfect venue for ghosts. We're well over 269 years old, have countless stately and historic old homes, a Civil War battlefield, and a past that at times is very turbulent and violent, all which may account for some of Frederick's former citizens, or what I like to call yesterday's people who still remain to the bewilderment of the living. <laughs> 